what we see in our data is a very clear moon-like dip and it is unprecedented compared to all of our previous data. So what we would really like to see is a second example of it. The only way we're going to do that is if we get more data. So we are asking Hubble if we can reobserve the star in the future and hopefully get that second event and really make it a clear-cut case that this is a real exomoon. The way we look for planets is to try and see the shadow of the planet essentially. We can't see the planet separate from the star because they're just too far away. So instead, we see the planet pass in front of the star, blocks out some of the light for a small amount of time, and we can tell there's a planet there. I'll get that little piece of dandruff off.